Сейчас практически ни одного дня не обходится без обстрелов населенных пунктов Донбасса. Убийство мирных жителей, блокада, издевательства над людьми, включая детей, женщин, стариков, не прекращаются. Сколько еще можно это терпеть? В этой связи считаю необходимым принять уже давно назревшее решение. Незамедлительно признать независимость и суверенитет Донецкой Народной Республики и Луганской Народной Республики. И во исполнение ратифицированных Федеральным Собранием 22 февраля сего года договоров о дружбе и взаимопомощи с Донецкой Народной Республикой и Луганской Народной Республикой. Мною принято решение о проведении специальной военной операции. times in history have politicians decided to do the right thing knowing it could be tremendously difficult. Despite knowing the West would respond with economic sanctions of unparalleled severity, Moscow delivered the military assistance that Donbass had awaited for those eight long years. The West's response? Condemnation, sanctions, and a whole lot of angry people thrown into a blind frenzy by events from a region they had little to no knowledge of in days prior. Здорово, ты Масад? Урод вас, Вот сука, эту ночью будем горло резать. The mainstream media never really gave Westerners an honest picture of what Euromaidan was about. And after the neo-fascist-backed coup came to power, most people did not know of Donbass or the atrocities that Ukraine was committing there. By the time Russia's special military operation began, to most people in the West, it just looked like Russia invaded its apparently peace-loving neighbor, without rhyme or reason. Media outlets like RT and Sputnik gave it their all to show people a different perspective, but in direct contradiction to the stated principles of liberal democracy, their signals were blocked and their voices were silenced. Perhaps if people were given a chance to really understand what went on there, things would have turned out differently. However, there is still time for people to know the truth. The truth about the atrocities that Ukrainian forces committed for eight years. The truth behind why Russia crossed the Rubicon and sent troops to end the war in Ukraine. We went to Donbass many times. We saw with our own eyes how reality contradicted the media. That's why we want to show you how things really were before Russia's military operation began. We want to show you how things really were eight years before. <laughs>